Hello, my name is Don LaFontaine. I'm an application engineer at Intersil. And today I'd like to show you how to load the software for our six phase controller, the ISL78226. We have a user's guide that goes through the process of showing the user how to quickly install the software, how to connect up the hardware, and goes through on a rudimentary level of showing the operation of the GUI, and then later on in a more detailed uh, explanation of how the GUI works. So this video is going to show the loading of the software. Okay, so if you have the PDF up on your laptop and you have Wi-Fi connection, uh, you'll be able to use this user's guide to download the software. So to get the software from our website, you click on this link. That'll bring up this screen. We'll click Run. So at this point now, the uh, setup wizard comes up. It will tell you the current version that you're loading. Uh, it's recommended that you go ahead and close all other applications before continuing. Once that's done, click Next. That'll bring up this screen, which is the where we select the destination to store this in. Uh, our default is C user slash public slash ISL78226. If you want to save it to a different location, you can click Browse and take it there. Uh, hit Next. Uh, this is where we're going to put the uh, startup menu folder. Uh, we're, the default is intersil slash ISL78226. Uh, we'll click Next. And this screen here, if you want to have an icon show up on the desktop, then uh, it's already pre, pre for that. You can hit Next. If you don't want a desktop icon, uh, then you can un unclick it. Uh, by hitting Next, it'll take us to the Install. So we'll hit Install. And now once we're finished, if, if you just wanted to load it and not use it, you can unclick this. Or if you want to just launch right into the program, uh, this, this box will be checked. And hit Finish. And that'll bring you up to the uh, first screen in our GUI. This is the evaluation main startup menu. From this menu, we can see all the connections that need to be made. We can see that we have to apply five volts to our pre-bias section. We also need to apply 12 volts. This is to our VN pin, which drives the power to our part, as well as 12 volts for our flyback. We also see that we have to connect our 12 volts to the three phases on this side and three phases on this side, as well as our 48 volts on the bottom side. Also shown are the different jumpers that are on the board. For the GUI to drive the part, most of the jumpers are disconnected and it's all driven through software. So from this screen, we now have the ability to select which part we want to look at. This GUI has the ability to uh, drive both our six-phase board, which is our 78226, as well as our four-phase board, which is our ISL 78224. The demo uh, is basically the same, so we'll concentrate for this video only on the 226, but everything is applicable to the 224. So we'll select the 226, and that'll bring up this screen. And this screen is where we can now power up the part and look at all kinds of registers and alarms and through the GUI. So if this is the very first time that I'm powering up the board, what I'm going to want to do is power the thing up slowly. So to do that, I'm going to hit the enable pin up here under the system control panel. And this system control panel will stay here the whole time, no matter what phases or tabs I click on. Okay, so once I hit the enable pin, I want to check and make sure that my flyback circuit is working correctly. And to do that, I'm going to measure the voltage on this point and this point. I should see 12 volts and 6 volts. So let's do that. If I put my meter on the 12 volts, I should, should read 12 volts and I should be reading 6 volts. Okay, so that has showed me now that the, the board is, is connected up correctly for the flyback circuit. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on my PWM, so I come over here and I'll click on this tab and turn the thing on. And now the part is fully functional 
and I have all six phases operating and we'll show you that in just a minute. But before we do that, I'd like to show you the operation of the automatic setup that we have built into the GUI. And this is once I've verified everything's connected, I can use this. So if I've already verified the functionality of the board and I'm coming in to use the GUI again, I can now click on this tab over here, click exec Execute Startup. You can see that my PWM is off and now uh, it's running the startup. Everything's done and the PWM is on and I'm up and running. And the software has automatically done all the things I need to power up the board. In our next video, we'll show you how to do phase dropping, digital tracking, analog tracking, and show you some of the operations of the GUI.